It is November. Big weekend ahead. Lots of things going on from the run to your clock running. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's no, true. No, no, it goes that way. That way. It goes backwards. backwards. You can't run backwards? <laughs> I know she trained running backwards. <laughs> Take a look. Here we go. We're going back to standard time this weekend. We fall back. So, Saturday night before you retire, turn your clock back one hour. Now, for most of us, that's a couple of buttons to push, but actually we're going to get the hour of sleep that we lost in the spring. It'll come back for us as we go back to standard time. And that's very seasonable. I mean, it's the first weekend of November. That's when we usually do that. Of course, the first part of November is when we usually see some drier conditions here, though we're seeing some low clouds from inland Jasper County, Beaufort County, right up the Carolina coast. Those low clouds are trying to spread inland past I-95. There's no precipitation with them. Here's where all the precipitation is. My goodness, we've got some very heavy storms. Iowa across Missouri down into Arkansas and even stretching to Dallas and there's snow behind this, Kansas and Nebraska. Is that snow headed our way? No. That southern end of that front is headed our way. Looks like it will arrive in a weakened condition. Check Future Max. Tomorrow afternoon we might see a shower or two, especially coastal counties. This looks a little aggressive pushing the rain up into Effingham and maybe as far north as Hampton County. But here comes the real band of rain that will be here at 4.30 in the morning, Thursday night, Friday morning. And this will sweep through very quickly with the heaviest activity up here in the Carolinas and Virginia. Even the wraparound will miss us, though we'll see some clouds Friday night. Don't let that worry you either if you're running first thing the next morning because things are really dry after that and dry for the entire weekend. Temperatures cooling quickly with our clearing sky. See the blue following right down the west edge of the I-95 corridor. We're still at 54 degrees here in Savannah currently, 52 at WTOC with a 90% relative humidity. Our winds are currently calm. We made it up to 67 for a high today. Our official high was 70 degrees after a morning low of 42. We've been as cool as 33 degrees, almost 10 inches now below normal in rainfall. As we watch this approaching front, which splits into two areas of low pressure, the more dominant fades away. This becomes the more dominant than later in the forecast period as it passes off the Carolina coast. High pressure zipping to the northeast and that sets up this northeasterly flow. That's what the runners will be facing first thing Saturday morning as we go for the Rock and Roll Marathon. So your Doppler Max 11 forecast for tonight is actually pretty quiet. Mostly fair skies, not quite as cool. Northeast breeze will have an overnight low of 47. Then for tomorrow, some late day showers. Yeah, could be about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Several of the models suggest more toward noon. We'll watch and see how that plays out, but partly cloudy skies. Southeast breeze at 6 to 10. That'll blow the moisture inland. 72 will be the high. 56 tomorrow night and the better chance of rain overnight into early Friday. Friday's high, 68, but we clear out after that. Saturday, 66, 72 Sunday, 70s for the rest of the forecast period, including Election Day, with skies partly cloudy to mostly sunny throughout the period. So with the marathon coming up this week, Weekend. And with the time change and whatever you've got planned coming up this weekend, weather will be just perfect. 66 Saturday, 72 on Sunday. Follow us on Twitter at Big John Weather. Have a great day tomorrow. Thanks.